So a lot of times people outside of Africa still think about Africa as this place uh, that has you know, lots of droughts and famines, has uh, runners in the Olympics, has uh, you know, corruption and you know, wars and things like that. And part of that history is true, but part of it has changed. So this is no longer the Africa of the 80s and 90s. We now have you know, 15, 20 more years of businesses growing, technology coming into the continent, mobile phones turning on people, uh, disposable income growing. All these things are happening, and they're happening fast. Um, but, you know, so what do we do to help change that narrative so that more foreign direct investment can come in, more people are interested in Africa as a business area instead of just as a, as a charity case? Uh, I, think, I think it comes down to this. It's telling a different story. And for maybe the first time, having Africans tell that story so that it's people who are from there, who build there, who do things on the ground, who are saying, no, this is what we do. Uh, it's this dynamic exciting, uh, fast-moving space where people can make real money and businesses are growing. In fact, if you want to think about things like the internet, it's the last blue ocean for internet connectivity in the world. If you want to play in this space, you're going to be just like Mark Zuckerberg, who was in Lagos and Nairobi three weeks ago. He's coming there because he, too, needs, to, needs his business to be connected more to Africa. It's the, it's the place where he's going to find the most growth in the next five to ten years.